Welcome to the XML Passing Tutorial using R. This is Dinesh here. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to extract data from an XML document and convert it into a data frame. First of all, let me give a quick introduction about XML and XML Passing. XML is a markup language that is commonly used to interchange data over the internet. If you want to access some online data over an API of a web page, mostly you will get the data in an XML format. Therefore, this XML parsing has become an essential technique during the process of data pre-processing. The process of reading the XML file and getting its content according to its structure is known as XML parsing. XML basically follows a tree kind of structure with nodes and values. In this tutorial, I am going to use a sample XML file which I have downloaded from the internet. So, in, from my msdn.microsoft.com this is a file which I have copied and uh, saved it in my local system already. This file will look like this. If you see this particular XML document, so XML document usually follows a tree structure. So this catalog is a root node or root element which has a branch element or a node called book. So these are all the values for each nodes. So we are going to extract data from this XML document, all this author information, title, general price, publish date and description. In this tutorial, I am going to use a package called R. Let us open a script window. So this package helps us to pass an XML document as well as generate XML within R. So this package I've already installed. To start with, you need to have this package in your system. Let us pass this input file using XML pass function, which comes from an XML package. Let me give the path of this input file. Copy this path and paste it here. This XML pass function is used to pass an XML file containing XML content and generate an R structure representing the XML tree. First let me load the package and run this. If you see this it would have passed and made it as an XML tree representing an R structure. Once we have the data passed, we are next going to convert it into data frame by searching all of the variables in different nodes. All of the variables in these different nodes. For that, I'm going to use XML2 data frame function, which comes from our package. This XML2 data frame function is used to extract data from XML document and then builds the corresponding data frame using all of the variables in different nodes. So this is a function and uh, from this tree, this XML passed tree, we are going to search the node using a XPath expression comes from XML package which is get node set. So this get node set function is used to identify the nodes, which node we are searching. So that this function helps us to identify the nodes. It basically uh, returns a list of uh, matching nodes from the path. So doc is my past document and I'm going to give the path here. If you see this particular input file, the path can be like a catalog followed by book followed by author. So this will be the path. I'm just going to give the path here. Catalog followed by book followed by author. I'm going to name this as a node. Yeah, just let us run and check. Yes, we got this. Okay, let us name this particular vector as a author using set names 
do cut this and pack it inside this function and name it as author okay here we go so we got this information so similarly we need to repeat the same step for the rest of the fields for this input so for saving time I've already typed it in my local notepad just I'm going to copy it and paste it in my script if you look at this script I've just altered the path if you see this author I've just altered it to title which will help me to identify this particular field and the value and gener which will help me to identify the general and its value similarly for price publish date and description so let us run all this okay we got description we got general we got price we got publish date we got everything so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to just bind this all and convert it as a single data frame book df i'm going to name it as a book df using c bind i'm going to bind it all a comma title comma general comma price comma publish date comma description we'll run this book dot df if you see it so we got the data frame successfully we have arrived at the result and data frame which we have expected so this particular script what it has done is it has extracted the data from an XML document and then built a corresponding data frame from the different nodes thanks for watching this tutorial I hope it will be helpful to start XML parsing using our thank you